Welcome to Coffee Break Express, a quick word from God. My name is Michael Moret, reading today Romans chapter 1, beginning in verse 24. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. God will convict a sinner of their sin. It takes an awful lot and a lot of hard work for a sinner to drive God's Holy Spirit and the guilt that he brings when he sins, to drive that out of their mind to the point where they just don't hear the voice of God anymore. They no longer feel guilt. They feel justified. God lets people go their own sinful way if that's what they want. He does not strive with man forever. The Bible says he honors a person's free will. Okay, that's what you want. 25. Well, let's read 24 with it. Wherefore, because because they ignored God, because they rejected truth, they hated truth, they hated holiness, they loved their sin, they didn't care. Wherefore, God also gave them up to the uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. If somebody doesn't worship God, the God of the Bible, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, if somebody does not worship the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the one true God, then whatever they choose to worship, and they will worship something, even if it's themselves, Whoever you put before anything else in your life or whatever you put before anything else in your life is your God and you are worshiping them whether you realize it or not. And if it's not Almighty God, it's a lie. It's a false God. And there is a lot of people doing that. Most people do that. Most people worship a false God today because true Christians who have repented of their sin and received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior are very few and far between. 26, for this cause God gave gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did exchange the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was fitting. This is not a Christian country that we live in. When I was a child, there was a biblical influence even among people who were not saved. There was a respect for right and wrong. There was an acknowledgement of what was true and what was false, and an acknowledgement that the Bible was the Word of God. But, but this is not a Christian country. And that's fine. It was never intended to be. You wish that the Bible had more influence, but it's not a Christian country. People can believe in God however they want. That's always been the case. Or they don't have to believe in God at all because people have a free will. If people want to live a homosexual lifestyle then God is going to let them do that. But God, in his word, says that it is indecent and vile and shameful on top of being unnatural. So you can choose to believe what you want to believe, but that is what Scripture says. And no one can change that. You can deny it, but the biblical truth is that homosexuality is shameful, according to God. And that truth is not going away simply because society accepts it and even favors it so so much today. But the truth is not going away because it is God's truth. And people will be judged according to how they responded to God's truth. And I'm going to stop right there. You can study all of God's Word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. To be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and God's Word that makes you a part of this ministry. And also, when you take a break from studying, go to thebibleversebyverse.com. Hit the front page, the Donate button, and prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. I'll see you next time right here on Coffee Break.